Welcome to another lesson using Pixlr. This lesson is going to demonstrate how to add a tattoo to a back. So I'm going to go ahead and open the photo editor and choose Open Image from Computer. I'm going to go ahead and hold the control key to select the two images that I want to use. And I'll say Open. So I'm going to take this tattoo and put it on the lower back of this woman's picture. So before I get started, I am going to go ahead and make this a square. You don't have to. My students do, however. So I'm going to choose image size and the dimensions are 640 by 458. So when I come up, I choose the rectangular marquee and I choose fixed size. Notice the height is smaller so I'm going to change the width to be the same height, which is 458 in this case, to make it a square. I'll then click down and move the marquee until I'm happy with what's inside of that marquee. When I'm happy with that, I will choose image crop. I'm going to go ahead and save this. I'll go ahead and call this back one because I'm going to have a before and after image. Set it to 100%. Say OK. And I'll save it. Make sure that .jpg is at the end. If not, you need to add it. And I'll go ahead and save that. I'm now ready to add this tattoo on this woman's back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the crop tool, isolate everything as much as possible because I'm going to use what's called the magic wand. We'll hit enter and I don't know if you could see the pants but notice everything else is solid like the solid back color around that tattoo. I am going to take the um, what's called the stamp tool. Go ahead and select the stamp tool. You might need to change the brush size up here. If not, what you want to do is you want to hold down the control key and pick up the color of the back and start painting and this will make sense. I'm going to start painting over here. So you click to keep selecting and getting that color. Now that the color around the tattoo is all the same color pretty much, I'm going to click on the magic wand. I'm going to click down and you can you can keep holding down the shift key till everything is selected or you could try clicking off contiguous at the top and then clicking down. Now notice it's selected. I'm going to go to edit, deselect all and try again. After after clicking off of contiguous at the top, I will click down and notice how it tends to get a little more. You might need to experiment with that. And now I'm going to choose Edit Invert Selection. Okay, I don't know if you could see over here in the upper left corner I didn't select it all. That's okay, you can always use the eraser tool. I am going to choose Edit Copy at this time. Return to the back and choose Edit Paste. I can use the Move tool to move it. And I don't know if you could see, I'm going to zoom in so you can see what's going on. Remember how I didn't get that selection here? Just take the eraser tool and delete that. Now I'll go view actual pixels so you can see what's going on. Now obviously I need to resize that. You could do the control and T key. Hold down the shift key to constrain proportions as you drag from a corner towards the center to make it smaller. When you're happy with that, choose enter. Go ahead and move it down. If you need to rotate, let me show you the rotation option. You would do control T again and when you scroll over around a corner when it turns into like a half circle you can start rotating it and then hit enter when you're happy. Let's go ahead and view actual pixels. So you could be, you could leave that as is. If you need to you can always go to the layers window. Click on this option here, toggle layer settings and you could change the opacity so it's faded out a little. That's always an option. So you have to make sure that you pick the right tattoo to go with the right image because it's it can be tricky sometimes. So now I'm going to go ahead and I will choose File, Save, and I will call this Back 2. Save it as a JPEG, set it to 100, say OK, make sure the .jpg is there as an extension and say Save. This concludes the session on adding tattoos to other images. Until next time, you have a fabulous day.